day. So your little dirty behind, <laughs> dry your feet before your junk. And then you're going to think you'll put your athlete's feet written junk into my daughter. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my Twisted Life of Poetry. I am Poetry, and you are here for a very, very late recap of Black Lightning, Season 1, Episode 3, Lawanda, The Book of Burial. Yes, this is very late. I suppose they got this done over the weekend. <sighs> yeah, no, stuff happened. But thank y'all for coming back with me and joining me on this recap right here. So, The Book of Burial. I honestly thought this was going to be all about Lawanda. Because they said it was Lawanda, the book of burial. We started off with Lawanda's funeral, but I realized that this book was like the burial of their hopes. You know, there was the whole point of um, Tobias and our new character that got introduced into the storyline, Miss Jilly, Jill Scott, Jilly from Philly. Yeah, the whole purpose of them was to try to um, remove the hope from the parishioners in this particular episode so um just a side note i am still stuck on how the hell how old is freaking lawanda or was lawanda before she passed because when they went through the previews um of what happened last week they showed lawanda holding a picture of her daughter who had graduated and her daughter looked like a grown-ass woman in that graduation picture maybe she wasn't graduating from college maybe she was graduating from high school because you know some of our teenagers look like grown-ass women but if LaWanda had a grown-ass kid graduating from high school, LaWanda at least 30-something, how the fuck old is Jefferson supposed to be? Ain't no doggone way he was her teacher in high school. And they ain't that far apart in age. Ain't no way he had to be. If she at least, let's just say she had a baby young. If she had a baby at 15 and LaWanda was 17 when she graduated from high school, ain't no telling how old LaWanda is now. But let's just say, you know what I'm saying, that makes her 32. And, in, and Jefferson can't be pushing 60. He can't be pushing 60. He got to be in his 40s. But he would have to be at least 21 in order to teach high school with some college credits. He'd have to have some type of college credits in order for him to do that. So at least 22 for him to teach high school. So that means he's, what, 50-something? Oh, no, I ain't, I ain't buying it. Because one, I don't think LaWanda had just graduated from high school. Her daughter had just graduated from high school. So I'm buying it. I'm not buying the storyline that LaWanda was damn Jefferson Pierce's student at that school. Somebody going to have to come up with a new life for me. Okay. I'm drinking soda today, y'all. It's my second one of the year. Mug is strong because I don't really drink soda. I'm normally a water drinker. Okay, so they opened up with LaWanda's funeral. And Anissa, she's scaling up a fence, trying to break into a scavenge yard. Her cornrows look good as a motherfucker, right? And she set up this dryer, and I guess she tested out her strength. Reverend Jeremiah Holt, who will be referred to as Panky, doing this because he was Panky in Friday, <laughs> said, you know, he want to lead the march against the dog on 100. He's like, I want 100 god fearing people to come out to these streets and march up against them. And I thought they was done with the 100 at this point. Because I thought Jefferson said it was over once Latavius was found dead. So, and this is trying to learn um, how to control her power. That's what she's doing. So she's trying to keep kicking. And she's kicking and kicking this dry. She can't get nothing to happen. And she punches the glasses and realizes it's all about breath control. And then you know, out your mouth. They teach you in that in track. And you know, out your mouth. In yoga. And you know, out your mouth. Teach you how to control your breathing so your blood pressure won't raise up. You won't panic. All that type of stuff. Well, Henderson is telling Reverend Panky, look, call off the protest. Because we the police, we going to do our jobs. We going to make sure that we protect the community. That's what we're here to do to protect and serve. Panky said we don't need to pay for protection. <laughs> and the police, we didn't. We won't have to pay for protection if the police didn't already have their pockets filled or had their hands filled. And I messed up all my words. He said that we don't have to pay for protection if the police wasn't already in the 100's pocket. Bam, I got that out. All right. So he was like, no, that ain't me. I ain't on nobody's payroll. I ain't, I ain't got my hands in nobody's pocket, right? Trust me. And Pank can say, look here, I'd rather trust on the Lord than to trust in you because we damn sure can't do that. So Pank can say, look, you ain't nothing but the overseer of the slaves in your department. That's all you're doing is trying to keep them slaves in check. So Henderson step up to him like, what? What you say? What? What? <laughs> he said, 
say, why you up in a pool pit with your twenty five thousand dollar watch on and your silk scarves? I'm out here in my work shoes hitting these streets. You know what I'm saying? What kind of shoes you walking in? Got your gaiters on, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I personally don't care that much for preachers, no cops. You know, that's just how I am. Preach, no cops, personally. No politicians, no insurance salesmen, no handymen. I don't fuck with none of them for real. Anyway, Peggy Tell Jefferson. Man, it's time for us to take our lives back. You know what I'm saying? We was out here in this fight together. Me and you, hombre, together. And uh, somewhere you don't feel the hell off. But I, I made the decision that it's time for me to get back out here in these streets. And... You know, I'm willing to die for mine. What about you? It seems like you only care about yourself. He's like, no, man. You know I care more about that. I know I care about that. He's like, look, why the dad doing this? Do you understand that? She she died out here in these streets. And he said, well, Lawanda's death wasn't in vain. Lawanda's death brought back out Black Lightning. And it looks like the appearance of Black Lightning will bring us all together again. He is our help from God to help us save Freeland. But no matter what Jefferson was suggesting to him, Panky still believed that Black Lightning is the answer to all their prayers. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Gamby is upgrading uh, Jefferson's suit so he can be more precise with his bolts of lightning. Excuse me. That soda. Had to let that out. Goodness gracious. And um, they were in some simulation. Like, Gamby is very techno savvy. You know, he, I ain't never seen nobody come into his doggone shop and buy a suit yet. But he very techno savvy. They running these little game simulations, you know, for him to try to get his aim on point. And I don't know what the heck's going on with Jefferson, but he hitting everybody. Well, not you, he hitting everybody. Every time he shoot, he missed the bad guy. He keep killing the cop every single time. I'm like, is a message? Is there a message in there, bro? Um, so Tobias and his chick... They roll through what looks like is Tobias's boxer spot. And at first, I thought he was the man in charge. I'm really not somebody is above Tobias. Okay. What the heck is his sidekick's name? Anybody know? I, have they said it? Because I know I could Google it. I could Google it to find out. But I'm like, have they said her name during the show? Well, I'm going to call her Molly. I'm going to let y'all know that. I'm going to call her Molly until I learn differently that she looks like a Molly to me. Well, anyway, they hid Honcho. It's Jilly from Philly. Jill Scott is the bad guy on this show, right? And uh, he bringing her a little payoff saying, like, this should, should square us up for all the mess that Latavius brought down upon us. Um, she like, if you think this is, a, unless this is for Black Lightning, then your problems ain't over, boo. And Tobias is like, look, I already killed that fool. Like, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> I took him out myself. So she said, do you believe in a good book? You know, the Bible. The Bible. He was like, you know, uh, eh, not really. She's like, you really should read it because it's out here giving these little peons hope. Look at Panky. He out there all filled with hope and determination, call himself going to march against me. Like, what the heck? Take all my protection money and lead everybody to the promised land. But see, there was a Judas among his ranks, you know what I'm saying? And he dropped a dime on him, so I got all the information. He was able to inform me about this. And Tobias is like, thank you. Appreciate that. You know, thanks for sharing. She said, I don't need you. Thanks. That ain't what I need. What I need for you to do is take you and old Molly dead eyes over there and go handle it. She said they can believe in God all they want, but what they cannot do is believe that they can take their street backs. Hallelujah. Okay. All right. So, who this child is working my nerves. Jennifer, Jennifer. Well, her and Khalil are planning a little, a little booty call at some little hotel, apparently. And um, at least she is asking do he got protection at least she doing it but i'm like damn child is everything you're doing is about being young dumb drunk and sexy is that's all that's in your head so then she finds out khalil is a virgin like oh okay but it, i was like i wasn't sure she was but she's like yes i am too don't worry about that i'm a virgin too both of us virgins we're gonna do this together so Anissa, she's in the library studying up on her new craft you know learning about gene mutations and it seems she's got an eye for the librarian named Grace. And I'm like, that ain't your girl, Anissa. That ain't your girl. Told you, Anissa on some low life stuff right here. She low life and Jennifer acting like a bird. I don't know what's going on with the doggone Pierce family. And um, the way they talking, you know, they seem to have a common interest in superheroes, you know. And I'm like, yep, this girl is about to become Anissa's boo. 
especially since she seems to have like a bad interest in the comics and badass superheroes and everything. So she gonna understand what she's going through with some ease. Well, she invited her to this little uh, costume party, and and this is like, yeah, I'm gonna definitely beat her. We'll roll through. So Henderson is trying to get protection set up for the protest, but. He can only get one dog on a squad car authorized. He's like, I don't know what the heck is going on. I went all the way up to the mayor, but the one nobody tell me nothing. So Jeff said it sounded like they setting Panky up. That's what it sounded like to me. They're going to try to kill my boy. So um, what Jefferson and Gambia are trying to do, they're going to try to reroute the whole march so he can better protect the marchers. And um, that way he can like look up top and see the whole little area and be there if he need be. Lynn, at the household for dinner. I'm like, dog, she sure do spend a lot of time at her ex-husband's house. Like, my goodness. I know you got kids, but she's 15 and 20-something. Like, come on, you spending that much time? I know they got feelings for each other, but sis, if you're not finna rock with him, then why are you still there? Like, why you come around so much? You always there. And, um, well, Anissa's not coming home for dinner. And uh, Jeff, Jeff, Jefferson asked us, he said, look, in two years, you know, Jen will be leaving out the house, too. She'll be graduating from high school. So when she stopped coming around for dinner, too, um, or that means you won't stop coming around? And she was like, look, what I want most is for you to be safe. You know, let's thwart that conversation. I just want you to be safe. And I'm like, y'all just don't get y'all asses back together. Why y'all playing around? Just get back together. Come on now. She always there anyway. You clearly see both of y'all are too into each other. She care immensely about you. You care immensely about her. Just get back together. Okay. Anyway. That was cute, but it ain't cute no more. It's getting on my nerves now. Anyway. Um, Jen come in. And she gives him a whole new thing to worry about. She like, ooh. Ooh, and this is not going to be here. I thought she was going to be my backup. And I was like, your backup for what? She said, um, I think I'm ready for sex. She grabbed a little plate. She threw it off to the dinner table. <laughs> they looked at each other like, what? what? What did she just say? So they tried to give her the, I'm so happy you spoke to us and you felt comfortable enough to come share this with us like we told you to do. And, you know, Jennifer's like, uh, oh, because Jeff's like, you know, but you're so young. So Jennifer's like, Okay. How old were y'all when y'all did it? <laughs> no, they was probably young too. And although like I could talk to my mother about pretty much anything for real, um, I never had this conversation with her. Never. I think my mother found out that I was having sex like a couple years after I had actually started having it. And I didn't go to her because I felt like I already knew everything she was gonna tell me because my friends went to my mama. So I was always sitting in those conversations, so I already knew what the hell she was gonna say. You know, I was protecting my damn self, that's all I needed to do. So, um, uh, they say, well, you know, we were in love. We just want to make sure that you're in love. She's like, okay, don't even know that. Love. Check. Got that covered. So, this is what's going to happen on Saturday. That's the day it's going to happen. Two o'clock. I'll be home before curfew. Don't stay up and wait for me. <laughs> he was choking back that wine. Like, what the hell? They didn't know what to say. You know what I'm saying? So, um. They got those Mickey Mouse balls in a little China's head. She did look like my daughter on that picture right there. That, that picture right that picture right there in the background. Right there? Yeah, that picture right there. That's what she... That picture. She looked like her. Put those Mickey Mouse balls on her head. Okay, so... um, <sighs> Later on, Anissa is in her room with her, and they laughing and joking about the fact that she told them about her wanting to... Uh, have sex and, she, and it's like that was so cruel to spring it on them in the family dinner she was like i was hoping you was gonna be there but like what's up with you you don't miss church you don't miss dinner and now martin luther the king <laughs> the junior female don't want to go on a march like what's going on so um and this is like you know what i ain't about that life no more it's time for me to do more so, and I was feeling the same way when I stopped protesting, too. I was feeling like there's so much more for me to be doing except out here walking in the streets, pounding this pavement, and ain't nothing happening. So, my only difference is I didn't have no superpower, superpower. So, although my boy, um, Bruce Franks, the house representative, y'all probably see him in the news a lot these days. Um, he be on the, like, the house floor with his Superman t-shirt on. We started, like, on the streets 
together and it was so funny because at that time i was trying to like engage him in the being in politics and he was like no, i just want to be out in these streets i want to do something i want to do something more and now he's like a house of representatives doing his damn thing oh bruce hey so um anyway Jean wants her sister to be there with her. She's like, you know, you haven't spent much time with me. I just need you to be there for me. And it'll be with your sister. So, cool. They're going to do that. So, Lynn stops by Jefferson's office to tell him that she made an appointment for Jen to visit the doc, you know, in lieu of her wanting to have sex. And I'm like, girl, you could have called for that. What else you want? You want something? Yeah, that's right. And, of course, she did. She said, you know, in, you know, in lieu, I like using that term, in lieu of you being black lightning all over again, I'm concerned about spending more time with the girls. I think I need to have more time with them. He's like, yeah, that's cool. That'd be good. Especially, you know, spending more time with Jen before she go off to college. And she was like, nah, I want her to move in with me. He's like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell to the no, 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 no. And she was like, but I'm a mama. He's like, no. I said, no. I'm like, dog. Like, I want to know what the heck happened. How did the girls end up with Jefferson? Because Lynn supposedly walked away from that marriage because she feared for his safety and she said she couldn't live that life anymore. So why would you leave your girls with someone who you thought safety was in jeopardy? Like, why wouldn't you contest that? So I'm curious to see how they end up with him in the first place. So she digressed, though. And, um, yeah, I want to hear that story. Anyway, after school... Uh, he ran into Kalia. This was like the funniest part of the whole doggone show. And I was like, how is this meetup in the work? I was hollering, y'all. He said, come here, come here. Let me talk to you for a second. Let me talk to you, right? How do you shower? And Kalia was like, how do I shower? That sounds kind of pedophilish. <laughs> Just to say, no, explain yourself. How do you shower? You start off with a bar of soap and um, where you go from there? He was like, um, I wash, I shampoo, then I rinse. He said, continue. Go ahead, continue. He's like, um, well, I ain't get no mat, so I can't throw my towel on the floor and I step on it. He said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you step out the shower with your feet. He's like, yeah, with my feet. And you place them on the towel. And then so you dry your feet and then your legs and then, you know, all your important parts. He was like, uh... Yeah, this conversation getting kind of creepy. <laughs> he say, hey, so your little dirty behind, <laughs> dry your feet before your junk, and then you're going to think you'll put your athlete's feet written junk into my daughter and put athlete's feet in her important parts where it's not supposed to be. <laughs> I was cracking up. I was like, who wrote this? <laughs> Kalea looking like, that could happen? What you talking about? He said, boy, if you don't know if that can happen or not, then maybe y'all should slow down. Maybe y'all don't know what y'all doing. So, Anissa's up in the party. I don't know what kind of moves Anissa was doing. I ain't never seen nobody dance in that way. I can't even call it rhythmic. I don't even want to call it dancing. I don't know what Anissa was doing. But she all up on a, on a little librarian chick named Grace. I, I do know her name. And in walks her girlfriend. And she's like, oh, so Black Lives Matter cheating on me with this little Asian girl. What the heck is that about? So she must have seen <laughs> that same Snapchat that Bobby seen Jeffrey O on Love and Hip Hop Miami. <laughs> and she just bust on up in the party. How you know she was at that party, girl? Anyway, Anissa claimed, I ain't cheating, you know, I ain't cheating. I'm just in here dancing. And then the girlfriend say, hey, you look like an Instagram hoe right now. <laughs> Anissa was about to get all bowed and bowed and get up on her face, but the librarian's like, no, nah, y'all take that outside. Take that outside. So Gambit, I said Gambit, Gamby, he's setting up fake roadblocks to try to like steer them marching in the direction that they want them to go. And Tobias got some little scared young stuff there that's supposed to go hit the march up. I'm like, he like tell them to make sure you wipe your prints and then lose the gun at the scene and you should be good and I was like, he could have done way better than this little shaky, nervous dude here. One of Latavius' boys. He could have got one of them. Because they didn't give a dog on either. I'm like, he all jittery and stuff. And Tobias like, what you waiting on? Pick up the gun. He's like, I ain't got no gloves. I was like, gloves? Come on, OJ. You ain't got no gloves. Anyway, Tobias stuck that knife through his hands. And that boy's like, ah. He's like, you got to get the message. The message is, this is my streets, boy. And let everybody know. Whole streets, my streets. Right. 
So Gamby showed Jefferson the route and his best spot to be up on top of the building. And he said, you know what, but you need to be looking deeply on the ground because whoever it is, it's probably going to be in that march. They're going to be looking scared and nervous just like you looking right now. And he's like, I ain't nervous. That's not what I am. He said, what I, but what I am is hoping that God is really with us. That's what I'm hoping. So the march is on its way, and I guess it's more like a semi-silent march because they got candles, and the only chant is free, 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 free. I was like, what the hell? Jen, Khalil, Anissa, Lynn, all of them on the front lines with Panky. And y'all peep the headlines on the screen. It was like, you know, immigration activists are on route to the Congress. Yeah. So um, that would be uh, Amnesty International. Go to Ferguson protest. Y'all know that, right? Okay. So anyway, uh, Black, he watched it from the rooftop. And he realizes his family is in the march. He's like, oh, gosh, didn't nobody tell me that they was going to be there. And I was like, you didn't know? You didn't know? So little dude creep out the alley. He looks so obvious. He creep out the alley, got his automatic weapon in his hand, and he just unloads on the crowd. But Black was already right on time, jumped in to shield him from the gun spray. And then another little naughty head come up out the crowd. I don't know who the naughty head was going for. I don't know if he was trying to sue Black or if he was trying to shoot the other shooter. Because, you know, sometimes we do peaceful march and we still have weapons on us. You know what I'm saying? Or so I heard. Anyway, he got knocked out, though. He got knocked out. So, Reverend Panky walked up to him like, oh my God, the Lord has sent thy and has protected us. He just stared at him with just amazement like, you my motherfucker, you ain't that. He wouldn't say that though because he's the Reverend. And then uh, all of a sudden the crowd break out in a songful praise. Oh, take me to the river. I don't know what song they were singing for real, but that's the only gospel songs I think I can remember right now. So Jesus will work it out. Jesus will work it out if you let Jesus will work it. You know, Hula was using that as a commercial song. I was like, what the hell is going on? Anyway, <laughs> Tobias rolled up and was like, oh my God, I hate these church singing ass Negroes. They always singing and praying and singing and praying. They all want to go to heaven, but don't want to die. <laughs> I was like, oh, but damn. But, you know, you're kind of right about that shit, though. So, he tell Molly dead eyes, hey, kill Black Lightning. And this fool hit the wrong damn black man. She shot Panky. Reverend Panky got hit, like, bam, right in the chest. And I'm like, damn, Clifton, his role over already? He not going to be still on this show? Hey. So, then Khalil passes out. And I'm like, what the hell happened? Khalil got shot to him? So, I guess the bullet was a through and through. And just like, I was like, oh, hell to the no, no, no. That wasn't supposed to happen. That was not supposed to happen. Lynn tell Black, hey, get the hell up out of here. The police on their way. Hurry up, get out of here. So we at the hospital. We learned that the Reverend, Reverend Panky, he all right. Y'all know Reverend Panky's real name is Jeremiah Holt on this show, but he Reverend Panky to me. So we haven't got word on Khalil at this time. Gamby is down at the shop working on his little magic, and he identifies Tobias in the car. And I'm like, oh, baby, it's on the gun. It's on again. To Gamby say, delete. For a hot second, I was confused. Like, why did he delete that? But I understood almost immediately. He deleted it because he does not want Black to get back into a personal vendetta against Tobias. He just got him to come back out and stand up for the community. And for him to know that Tobias is involved, he's going to make that personal again because he still got this vendetta against um, Tobias for killing his parents, right? So, I understood why Gamby did it, but that ain't gonna turn out too good, bro. Anyway, at the hospital, Lynn asking this, so what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? I can tell something's wrong. Mama knows best, right? And then she was like, you know, um, me and Chino, we broke up. Um, I was like, is that the girl dog on that Chino? Y'all broke up? Really? We, this is when we get to learn her name? <laughs> I'm like, damn. And Lynn said, you know what? I'm so sorry to hear that, baby. But I know damn well you wasn't that into that girl. You was not into her like that. So when you ready to tell me the truth, what's really going down? Mama her. Mama her. So then we get to hear Khalil's news. He is paralyzed, y'all. I'm like, I be dang. His track days are over because the bullet is right in his spine. And he may never walk again. That's some jacked up shit. That's messed up, y'all. Well, that is the end of Black Lightning Season 1, Episode 3, my very delayed episode, LaWanda, The Book of Burial. Yes, we will be caught up. I'm telling you, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. 
episode four gonna be coming up within the next day or so if not tonight it may be tonight and then tuesday's episode will be up by thursday all right yes so and if you made it to the end of this video you'll know that there's a giveaway going on on my channel the video will pop up there pop pop pop, pop. it might have popped up in the beginning already Get y'all a chance to win as long as you are a subscriber to this channel and you can answer all those questions that I asked on that video and post it on that video. The response and you may be entered in for a randomly selected gift, one of three great prizes. Thank you for coming back. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.